All right, and we're back for another installment of Senior Spotlight. And uh, tonight, first up, we have Hannah Renz. Hannah, thanks for being here tonight. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited. So, you know, as you know, we do, a li we do this a little bit to learn a little bit more about um, our seniors. So uh, you get to go to uh, first tonight. And my first question for you is this, okay? Um, I heard that your dad likes to play golf. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Would you say he's good at golf? I mean, the other day he told me he had like a record best and it was like a 78. Okay, all right. He normally shoots like an 82. Okay. So that's like his goal is to get an 82. All right, so when he watches this, you know, we'll see how good you did at listening. Sometimes I can out, out drive him though. Okay. He doesn't admit it, but impressive. I think I can do it. Well, that was going to be my next question. Do you, you know, do you think you could beat him straight up or does he have to give you some strokes? I mean, obviously like the women's tee men's tea strength difference you know okay uh i think he'd beat me but i think if he gave me like five to seven strokes we'd okay be in competition all right oh well, there you go all right we'll see um uh for those that don't know out there hannah what's uh what are you doing next year um what's your plans for after high school yeah so um in august i'll be going to drake university and i'm i'm gonna be able to play soccer there which is super cool and i'm really excited about and then for like what I'm studying, I'm going into international business and marketing. Okay, international business. Yeah, yeah. So that means maybe means some travel. Yeah, that's that's the hope. All right, good, <laughs> good. All right, so here at DCG this year, we've got uh, a unique situation. We have three sets of sisters yeah. on the team. Mm -hmm. uh, you and your sister being one of them. Mm -hmm. So could you kind of reflect on that a little bit, what it's been like to play uh, with your younger sister, this being your senior year and getting to uh, share the field with her? Yeah, um, last year I didn't as much get the opportunity, but this year being out there, like, we kind of coach against each other, and sometimes we get into it a little bit, like, just, like, sibling spatter, but uh, I don't know. It's just, like, really fun to get to play with her, and I've, like, grown up playing with her, and when we, like, go out to play together, like, it's always been me and her, so, like, getting to do that on a field and, like, compete, like, with each other instead of against each other has been a super cool opportunity, and we just, she keeps me, like, in check with, like, having fun and just not taking it so serious sometimes. Great. So, um, what position are you, you know, have you been playing the most this year, and can you tell us, you know, what's the role of that position mm -hmm. and what you like about it? Yeah, this year I'm playing more of, like, a defensive mid, like a six, sort of. Uh, last year was more of an eight, so I was more in the attack, but this year my role's kind of been, uh, like facilitating the offense um, from like a deeper point than like being a part of the attack, which is completely different than um, I'm used to. And like last year, it's like a different position and Alexa helps me a lot with coverage. And I forgot the second part. Uh, what, what, have you, what do you like most about playing the six? Mm -hmm. I think like, um, I don't know. Defense? Uh, uh, and then also offense. Yeah, yeah, right. you get a little bit of everything. I feel like I'm kind of all over the field all the time. I don't know if I'm always part of the action, but uh, just like, I don't know. Like I, I just like facilitating and like making those passes that like lead. Sometimes you don't always, always get the credit for like the person that assists to the sister, but that person like makes a difference. The ball's got to get from the goalie to the front of the field somehow. So just yeah. being a part of that's exciting. Good, good. So one of the more popular questions that we've had is, on a scale of one to 10, what will your parents rate your driving? One being poor, 10 being excellent, and why? Um, this is kind of goes along. Uh, my car was just in the shop the other day because it got hit for the fourth time. Oh no. I can say I'm four for four, not the one, the one being the problem. It, I've gotten hit all four times, so <laughs> two of the times it was a parked car. No, three. No, two, two. Two of the times it was a parked car. So I'd say like an eight when you factor in the four accidents that haven't been my fault, but okay. I think I think it? that's fair if it wasn't your fault. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So seven, seven, eight. Yeah. Maybe choose a different place to park. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. I agree. Okay. If you would you rather have something from Starbucks or Scooters, and what would it be? Ooh, I'm like a coffee drinker, and I drink cold brews, so I think Scooters has a better cold brew than than Starbucks. Starbucks is more bitter, I feel like. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's fair. Yeah. I don't drink coffee stuff, so I don't know. I've been yeah. learning as we've yeah. talked yes. to you guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, were you more nervous to come and do this interview or before games? Do you get nervous? Um, I try to, like, manage my nerves. I think that 
I don't know. Like, obviously, the big games, you're going to be a little bit nervous or, like, excited. I think, like, it's, like, a known fact that, like, your body doesn't know the difference between being excited and being stressed. So, like, the way you interpret it is kind of, like, up to you. And I think it's just, like, excitement before games. Okay. Well, what's, what's your favorite song to listen to or what gets you going and kind of takes you out of the nervousness and into getting ready? Ooh. I don't know if I have, like, a set song. I just, oh, like... Well, then, what, t- what type of music? What do you like? What gets you going? I mean, me and Kaylin just love country, and any kind of country just gets us going. Dancer Home by Cody Johnson. We're always up and dancing to that before games, so that's fun. Okay, what about singing? Are you, do you sing? No, absolutely not. It, it, it'd be an issue if I started singing, and I think people would tune out of the video. Okay. All right. um, I'm looking for some kind of talent show worthy, something that, you know, that you know, singing, dancing, art, something. If you had to, you know, go to a talent show, what do you think that would be? Ooh, what would be your talent? My talent. I can say my ABCs backwards. Okay. <laughs> I, we got. We got We got I mean, We got to have this. We, we may come back to that and and ha- and have her do that. Yeah. That maybe how that's how we'll close it. Wow. <laughs> Perfect. That'll come I in handy. In kindergarten and I just haven't forgotten it. Okay. All right. Um. Uh, obviously, there's been a lot of success for the DCG program the last few years. Um, what, why would you say that DCG girls soccer has been so successful? I mean, we have a ton of great players out there. It's not just – we've never been a team that's just been one, um, like, main character with, like, a supporting cast. Like, we've all been, like, equally distributed with, like, the amount of talent, and I think that's a huge part of a team. It's not one player on the field. There's 11 players out there. And I think – I don't know. It's just, like – I was thinking about it today because we were talking about like what our identity is going to be and we talked about like gratefulness and passion I just like thought that we're consistently great in what we do um we don't like slack off like we're we're consistently in the top 10 and that's not something that a lot of programs can say that they um we talked about like a dynasty and like how hard it is to have a dynasty and DCG's been able to do that and I think it's just there's so much talent at DCG and it just is prevalent when we step on the field. And it's been fun too, right? Yeah, so fun. Yeah. yeah. Good. So kind of playing off of that, then uh, being your senior year, uh, four-year starter, lots of success, what are you going to miss most about DCG soccer and in the spring and being with all your friends playing soccer? I mean, just the community around DCG is just so awesome. And, like, we have been able to build that dynasty. So, like, people come out and they're going to see a great game out of us. And I think that's just, like, an awesome experience. Like, even when we were playing Norwalk, like, that's – always a game of the year that everyone's interested in it's like almost like a state championship of the regular season um I don't know it's just like on the field you can feel like the energy in the stands when the crowd's like going wild when they like miss a shot or we're like taking a shot and we miss it off the post or something like it's just awesome to like feel that and see that on the field yeah you know we've had some great following and uh watching some good soccer helps with that so That's great. Well, Hannah, we appreciate all the hard work and time and energy you've put into the soccer and, and uh, your, uh, your, your schooling as well. Uh, thanks for joining us here tonight. Uh, anything else, Charles? Do we need to have her do the She eight? has to take us out with the alphabet backwards. Okay. Got to so, see this. So we're going to leave you with this. Hannah's talent. Z-Y-X-W-V-U-T-S-R-Q-P-O-N-M-L-K-J-I-H-G-F-E-D-C-B-A. Wow. I'm, I'm not checking yeah. it. We're not Taking checking it. For it. That was awesome. Good luck tonight and the rest of the season. Yeah. Good luck. And go, go Mustangs. Go Mustangs.